Howdy folks, my name's Darren from RC Scale Models and today I'm back again with you with another diorama piece. This one's from RT Dioramas, 135 scale. This is depicting a European farm type barn type scenery, just like you see on the box. So it has the uh, part of the uh, house or barn and a small garage or shed. Um, and on the front they're depicting a what looks like a German anti-tank gun uh, anti-tank gun something like a pack 40 uh, possibly that's what it looks like on the front of the box there is no instructions with this kit so I will say that for now you get a basic parts what you get within the kit which we'll get into so working the, the, the kit out for yourself shouldn't be too difficult but this is an ideal uh, diorama box package it's for people that want to get into dioramas but can't scratch build anything it's a very good starting point, so let's take a close look at this one. So what we get inside this box, there is no um, anything on the actual box itself, it's just a white box, but the uh, item number, or the kit number if you want to call it, would be 352. Nine six, where I got this from is from um, Dave Colin. Um, he's the importer, I believe, for UK for RT diorama stuff. So I will leave a link in the description where you can get it from. But if you want to go to directly and get it from RT dioramas, which are based in Germany, um, they have everything else you can get directly from Germany. But a good thing with Dave as well, which I didn't expect. Thank you very much is he gave me a free gift of a pen and some snippers so thank you very much Dave Colin plus his packaging for this kit which I've already thrown the packaging away which I should have shown you on camera was superb so this hopefully this kit doesn't get damaged because it is a kind of plaster and some of the newer ones are ceramic as well which can be a little bit tougher so hopefully this is, isn't damaged and I know it's not damaged because I have had a sneak peek already but I have sealed it back up just for video purposes. And this is what it comes exactly like. This is how you, you would greet your, should be the same. Well bubbled wrap, which is nice to, to see. This section here is a small package. This is to do with the roof material. And this is the basic layer of your diorama you get two base plates the walls the doors the roof the windows these doors these parts is for the upper barn section you can have all of these open it all depends how you want to display it i notice with this they give you some clear parts for your windows so here we have some thick struts for the roof just like you see here you see it's numbered, eight, seven, so on. It corresponds with these struts, so you, you know where to put, slot them in place. Like I say, there is no instructions. It's not hard to work out, you just have to be careful. But here is another strut. The reason why it's cut off, because I think this part is over the uh, shed, so it's towards the back. This looks like another roof piece. I'm pretty sure this goes over the garage section. This section hangs over the barn door up the top on the little roof. So you want to add some ropes and some winches. You have to add all that yourself. This is all laser cut by the way. Um, so this is your main barn doors, main door for the, the building. This is the little barn doors. These are for your windows like are those French shutters, I think, or whatever they're called. Your windows, like I say, this is all laser cut. It just pops out. As for the rest of it, it's well packaged. Loads of bubble wrap. Here, we have one of the main walls, and this is chipped and damaged, just to be at the back of the, the uh, building. I believe this would be... This section here, 
this one is this part so I think also being it slightly damaged having the roof damaged as well and stuff like that which you're gonna have to make yourself like I say this is just the basis of get you started it will require a little bit of a cleanup in some parts just around the windows and doors for your stuff to fit in this section here is the part for the garage so this archway would be for this section here to go into there is a uh, piece that goes around this for framing just like you see on here there is a frame piece which is I believe inside here if I remember correctly I will show you what's in that package tons of more bubble wrap just be careful when taking it out because I'm not 100% sure how it's wrapped up sometimes here is the main building section so this is the upper barn in the uh, loft section this is the doorway and so your building will be facing here and your shed goes this way here is a small wall for the garage so this will go here and the garage faces in front which will be this section here this small section is some steps doesn't really show you in the picture but I'm pretty sure you would put it in front of the door so here is one base plate and the second base plate is underneath so let's get this box out of the way now so this base plate I believe is this one here second base plate goes here so we have wood grain effect here which would be inside the building I'm not going to paint that or do that I'm going to make my own uh, wood floor effect how, how I'm going to do that is I have tons of these co coffee stirrers they're like just wooden pieces of coffee stir which is ideal thickness for planking and just general flooring so cut these in sections and make your flooring weather them up nicely I think that work just as good you to stick this together white glue will work pretty well uh, gluing wood to this again you use white glue sometimes you can use super glue in certain places um, so this section will be your the little garage and this is where the main building will be so we have here we have a dirt track and some cobblestones and a little bit around the edge some rocks dirt section with some rocks so paint all of this nice nicely dirty tracks around here you can put your flowers and grass and stuff your cobblestones your garage so Roughly to show you where the buildings go, this small wall will sit here. This main building section sits there. Here is the garage entrance which goes there this main building section goes there this section here is for the side let's put some pots just to hold it in place so they don't fall over So that works out some of the main building let's move you up slightly um, so that's the basics of the building so that looks pretty good to me so what we get in this package 
which is be the roofing material and the rest of the wood parts. So this is basically what you get. There, like I say, there is no instructions. It's just a piece of paper. So this is kind of a rough guide how the roof works. They want you to use these roof sections, which are kind of already like a brick pattern. Um, and here is another piece. This one goes over the garage, which is this section here. This section here would be I believe this section one at the front and then the, the back would be this section here will face this way as for the uh, struts straight line pieces that go along these long pieces again they're, they're laser cut and you'll have to remove these to go along these individual struts but if you're going to make your roof all damaged you're going to have to basically cut this into smaller sections and just basically put it together in separate here is another piece for more sections that is the roof material um, and then we also get this clear plastic which has a uh, nice window dirty grime effect over it which would look nicely um, behind your main window you just glue that to the back of the window and I think that will look pretty cool the smaller ones Gonna have this way round. In case of lining them up, it's gonna make it nice and grimy. I believe this one here is for the door. So it looks pretty cool. As for the interior, you're going to have to do, do all that yourself, find extra parts to make this diorama. As for this piece here, which is the main garage door, this is this piece. This will slot somewhat like over there. So you might want to paint this a, a different colour to the framing and your metal parts possibly. There is no handles. These are more brackets down the bottom. But the rest of it, you're going to have to scratch build or use other, other products. But it gives you the bases to work with. So there you are my friends. A pretty cool kit from RC Dioramas. Like I say, there's a little bit of scratch building involved. But it gives you the bases to work with for this type of diorama which is based on a European farm type section I am going to do my brickwork in more of a sandy grey type of brickwork I will explain how I do all of this when it comes to building it my uh, um, doors will probably be like a green colour same as the garage doors I want one like a green colour I have extra parts already for this like extra Drain pipes, handles, I do have barrels, wooden barrels for the farm. Um, I do have some products that I can use already, but there is a ton of aftermarket and diorama stuff out there. So again, it's one of those cases of um, it, what, you, what you think or what you believe or what you have in your mind, just go with it because the possibility is, is endless and just have fun with it.